What up you guys, it's me Odir aka The Overview. Weirdly enough, I'm on my lunch break. Coincidentally, a few hours after doing this video before for the whole new Rick and Morty thing that they just put up last night. But, weirdly enough, due to the whole writer strike that's going on in the world right now, I don't know if people know about this, but there are certain TV shows, movies, and things that weren't promoted as much as I thought they were. But I guess this one found a way to get out of the limelight and actually be announced. Chucky season three and before going with the grain salt there is going to be spoilers in this video for seasons one and two if you haven't seen the show stay tuned if you have watched the show well we're here to be honest about it because that's what I do on this channel okay so the way things ended up in season two I'm a little mixed because season one of Chucky it was fabulous I actually liked it from the way it was actually translating the horror aspects with the comedy blending it into its own unique fashion after the ending of Cult of Chucky but with season two, I felt like it got a bit, a little bit more goofier with the seed of Chucky aspects or a bit influence. I can say because this season was a bit more comedic. Some elements were a bit confusing from the way they were presented before. Like how the tone from season one is different from the tone of season two where it went more comedic. But from the way things ended off in season one where spoilers going into this, where Chucky is alive after being... And I could say being disguised as a Tiffany doll, actually showing that he was under the whole makeup, everything for the very beginning of the show. But it's a bit confusing knowing that's where things left off. And now Tiffany is maybe dead, maybe not. Because if you didn't see the body die, they're not dead. And I know for a fact everything is going to go off in its own direction in season three. I didn't know this was going to happen this year or was going to release this year because of the strike. Because I know there's a lot of things in the middle of it that have been released but haven't been released. But I don't know if they're going to be able to promote this in any way. But they posted a teaser. I guess I could say, let's get into the video. New Jersey for a special announcement. Who made this podium so fucking tall? Is this I'm supposed to be a, to a dab at the president? Shits. It's season three of my show, Chucky, will return on October 4th. And I will okay, not so rest until every single I mean, one this year. of you fuckers watch it. Now ask me some questions. Chucky, what is this season about? All I'll say is DC is gonna get chucked up. <laughs> With so Weird. much content out there, where can we watch the new season? I'm too big for only one platform. Sci fi so USA. Show is running three. On three. USA, Sci Fi, and Peacock. Okay, October is going to be a good month for Peacock then. Will Devin Sawa be returning as a new character? We're in joke. Uh, how, about, how about Jennifer Tilly? Will she be back? Yes, you know, she always comes back. Really, right here, Chucky, 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 Chucky. What's your response to critics that say there have been way too many doll movies recently? I'd hmm. say this is not a movie. I already did seven movies. This is a TV show. I'm sorry, Chucky, what I didn't mean to offend you. What kind of a shitty question is that? I'm coming for you, you fucking <laughs> Subscribe, damn it! I'll be cool. back. I always come back. It's so. I guess I could say, at least they're into the promotional aspect of this, doing it the way they did. Um, not too much telling of the story, but I guess it's gonna take place in Washington D.C. Weirdly enough, I don't know how that's gonna feature into it, because I do know that the last season ended up with them in New York. But I guess another location change we haven't seen before. But yeah, I'm, I'll, I dig it. I'm into the show. I like Chucky. I I like the character, and I love the way that been his movies have been more traditionally different from every other slasher movie there has been. Because it's not only been from a horror trilogy to a comedic uh, duology back to horror, and then trying something new that actually features into the new TV show that they just got up. And I know certain elements don't mix well with people, like the comedic aspect of Seed of Chucky. If you can blend it with horror and actually make the whole thing actually make sense and actually feel more into the traditional aspect of the original Child's Play, or more, if I can say, Child's Play 2, that's a perfect blend of horror and comedy, not to get yourself too seriously, but still 
maintaining the story for what it is and showing as much you care about these characters as much as you want to see them move on and carry on. Because I do know that um, based off the things that have left, that, blah, 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 based off things that happened in the last season, I do know that there are characters that might not come back. Like Glenn, Glenda's not going to come back since she reverted back to the doll, and now they're in their own adventures in England. Um, Andy and I guess is his story is done. Because I do know that he had resolution and he didn't show up for the season finale with Kyle. But if they could try to bring Andy back for the season three, that'd be cool. At least a little cameo to show that he's still out there, that they're doing fine. And that they don't got to worry about Chucky. But if they know they're going to come back in the game on this one, who knows? If they can bring them back, good for the fans. But for the story with this, I don't know. And it's a common problem I have with season two because I feel like now that... Because at first... I saw this TV show more like the trilogy leading to one last Chucky movie concluding the whole story, but I feel like now that um, the, the TV show's gone on for three seasons, and now that's from season two on, and during the whole season two, I could say there were multiple versions of Chucky, a muscle Chucky, a bald Chucky, and multiple Chucky's that were on that truck that died, but some of them are still out in the world, that I feel like now if Chucky dies... It's not going to have the same impact as you saw him in the last few movies. Because the one time he won was in Cult of Chucky. And that actually felt different because you never saw that before. And now that in season two they were killing multiple versions of Chucky over and over and over. And that his death doesn't seem like an impact anymore. Especially after the finale. But I do feel like with this season, if they could try to pull off one big TV show style story. And then lead it off into one final Chucky movie. I guess I'm satisfied because I don't want the show to run over its course. I know people love the character, but still, I feel like oversaturation of something, if you're not going to make it seem like there are stakes with it involved, because I do know that there were certain horror movie remake rules that did the same thing, but still, at least you felt a bit of things, knowing that this is its own story, this is its own feeling. But with this, I feel like there has to be a conclusion at some point. And if you're not going to make the next season feel like it's more impactful than everything that else is going on. I feel like it's going to be oversaturation. I'll still watch it, but I feel like it's going to be overstaying this welcome rather than having a good thing and actually telling a very good story until the very end. And I guess that's all for today. I guess we'll I'll hear more about this during New York Comic Con. I do know that um, last year they had a panel. I went to it, but I hope this year because of the strike. Sooner or later, it has to end and they're going to have to make deals with the studios and the actors and the writers. I don't know if it's going to impact the Comic-Con panel or if they're just going to do the same thing to do with, with San Diego and, the, and my previous videos that where they just dropped everything at once and you just reacted, saw it, no promotional art, no promotional anything, just watch it. If they're going to do that, good for the fans. All right, guys, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.